got the lab coat on period hey guys welcome back to micro j where we do all things microbiology so today we're going to see how clean your everyday items are i have these agar plates that allows the bacteria to grow and flourish and multiply and would not so the things that i swabbed was the bank keypad the grocery cart, the gas pump, and a toddler's hand. For streaking on the agar plate, you have these sterile, kind of long Q-tips. So what you do is you take the Q-tip, you take the Q-tip, you spray it with water, you take your sample, you swab it on the agar plate, and you discard of the Q-tip. So I'm a little nervous, Chad. Little... After I swabbed on the agar plates, I closed it, I labeled it, I put the date in, in a box and closed the box so that it could incubate in room temperature for seven days. Yes, we're gonna see what grew on there. I brought my lab coat out because who knows what I'm about to see on these agar plates because, because yeah. PE, my personal protective equipment. I put on my glasses. I'm putting on gloves because, listen, don't nobody got time. Gloves on, lab coat on, glasses on. I have this box here where all my agar plates inside ready. This is the grocery cart. Let me put this to the side. So this is the grocery cart. You can see these circles or like these dots. Each dot is a bacterial colony. And they're all different sizes. This one's kind of yellow. So let's use my phone to get a clearer look. Just to give you some perspective, one visible colony are one million bacteria. So this is the grocery, grocery cart agar plate. So that's grocery cart. I took this sample August 1st, 2020. And look at all those colonies. Look at all those chickens. So let's see if we can count. So I would say it's roughly 50 colonies. So 50 times a million. There are 50 million. There is at least 50 million bacteria on here. On this grocery cart. So let me write. So let me write down the number of colonies and see which one. So this is 50. One, two. Okay, so I will say that there is a smell coming from this box. So to protect myself, to make sure I don't inhale anything, I'm going to put on a mask what you should be doing during this pandemic. So this is the bank keypad. I took it on the same day, August 1st. And you definitely see a more variety of colonies. So you see these small ones here, and these are kind of like yellow-ish. And then you clearly see that big spot there. It's fuzzy. So fuzzy usually means fungus child and uh, just know that's what y'all touching. That is what y'all. That is what y'all are touching. So let's count the number of colonies. Twenty-three plus fungus. So that's who we working with with the bank keypad. That's what y'all touching at the bank. So when you put, when you swipe your card in, boom, boom, and it asks for your pin number, and you are putting your pin number with your bare hands, that's what y'all touching. You need to wash your hands. Put on hand sanitizer for right then, right then, but you need to wash your hands immediately. Immediately. Okay, next. I have. Yeah. Now brace yourselves. Brace yourselves because listen, this is the gas pump. So there's a huge 
funk is looking is in these colonies here. So let's get a closer look. I'm really trying not to like open this because I'm not trying to have this floating around in my room. So this is a gas pump. You see this huge, like it's, it's almost taking up the whole agar plate. This huge fuzz that's around. And then you see these yellow colonies and then these big white colonies. You see some small ones here. And then you can see where the fungus grew. So it has like, it looks like spores. That's here. And then there's another one here. And I'm gonna attempt to count. I'm going to attempt to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, eh. I'm not gonna count that because that's a lot. So I'm gonna just put a lot. So the gas pump. So when you touching that gas pump, that's what you touching. That is what you're touching. I'm gonna move my face because I'm trying to. Okay. Last we have a toddler's hand. So this is a toddler's hand. His hand was like this. So his fingerprints was like that. So you can kind of see the shape of his hand. Let's get a closer look. So this is the toddler's hand. And you can, I put tape on it because listen, y'all see that and it's different colors. Like, like what is that? So we have like a little fungi thing or a mold, it could be a mold or fungus. And then there's like these black colonies here. And I don't know what these are. I'm gonna try to look them up, but listen. Let's flip it over. So here you can see like his hand was like that. Here you see his fingers were like that. And then you see these black colonies here. You see a spot there. You see this little rigid things here. I don't even know what you see. A bunch of colonies there. These little black things I am worried about. But, bruh, listen. Kids are not it. If you're debating if you should have kids or not, they're nasty. <laughs> So I'm gonna put everything together so you can see everything side to side. So in conclusion, the grocery carts and the bank key pack are slightly, slight, slight, slightly cleaner than the gas pump and the toddler's hand. However, I hope this make you realize like even, especially during this pandemic, just how clean things are well really how dirty things are for real because you have to realize that people are touching the same things that you're touching so you really have to make an effort into using hand sanitizer you should always have hand sanitizer on you at all times but not only hand sanitizer but you need to wash wash your hands for 20 seconds don't be don't like go to the bathroom you know what i'm saying because granted you probably didn't touch the bank keypad and the grocery cart and the gas pump in one day and then you go to the bathroom and you you soap when you wash your hands you just do a little rinsey rinse that means you just taking all that bacteria with you all day you're just a walking like you're a walking petri dish is what you are so that was me testing everyday items that you touch this was definitely a cool experiment to do i definitely want to do more but i'm not going to hold you I'm nervous on what I'm gonna see, but you know, in the name of science, I'm gonna try it, but I hope this helps you realize that the importance, the importance of washing your hands, okay? I should title this video, Why You Should Wash Your Hands, okay? Because it is 
it is crucial. Imagine you touching everything, you touch a keypad and whatever, and you touch your face. You touch your face, or you touch a baby, or you touch your, you know, your reproductive organs, or you touch your private parts. Like, all of that is just spreading. Like, wash your hands, child. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a new understanding on why it's important to wash your hands. I also hope it just gave you a visual on what to be conscious for for when you're touching things. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment what I should do next. And please be safe out there. The pandemic is still, the pandemic is still going okay keep our social distancing let's wear our mask all right okay all right keep washing your hands wear hand sanitizer everything and y'all be safe